Okay, welcome to another plug and play EV video. Uh, today we are seat of our pants time. Uh, thought I'd get very low state of charge here and do a fast charging session from one to 100% on the 2020 Bolt EV. So you can see, don't know if it's too clear here, the Chevy app is typically misleading saying 0%. We're actually, if you use the slightly better data in uh, Talk Pro here at 1.1%. So the, uh, all the bars are gone on here, same on the GOM here and propulsion power reduced, but we are at an Electrify America station, so worry not. So we'll plug in here, hopefully if it works, otherwise there is an EVgo station in the distance, although that won't give us the power I want. So all of these are online and active. Shifting over to this station, number two. We'll get it started with the app here. So the car reports 46 kilowatts, station reports 48. Got our other camera recording here so we get the whole session and can speed it up. orange that's a good thing we've got ourselves set up here up to two percent pushing up to 50 kilowatts we'll usually start up around 50 kilowatts when we have a regular session starting at like 10 percent 15 percent lowest usually don't usually want to go this close but you know this is an opportunity to see how long it takes and film the session, watch the curve, talk a little bit about the Bolt EVs, changed charging curve and why specifically this and what it will ramp up to just slightly higher is the limiting factor on the 2022 Bolt EV. kilowatts started just a little over 10 minutes ago we got to about 15 16 percent over that 10 minutes which at the current efficiency which is a little bit above the EPA of 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour uh, we added back what well, that's gonna be about 45 miles maybe a bit less over that 10 minutes uh, so your low state of charge is okay, you know, if you just need a quick bump, that 10 minutes is going to get you enough to uh, get home in some cases, or onto your hotel if you're just needing that last little bit of charge. That is the Achilles heel of the, you know, the Bolt EV at the moment on longer trips. Um, this is going to take, it said, 70 minutes or so to 80%. Uh, and again, you don't really want to stay much beyond, you know, if you can help it, 70%, 80% at the highest. But, uh, you know, this is for the sake of seeing how long it takes to get to these things. But uh, we're approaching 20% here. So one fifth of the battery pack back in about 13 minutes. Not terrible, but definitely not 
not uh, speedy enough compared to the likes of uh, Tesla, obviously, but also, you know, your mach -E's and your ID4s going uh, three times as fast in some scenarios, and then your uh, Ionic 5 and Kia EV6, which, if all holds up, will uh, deliver this 80% charge in uh, 18 minutes or so. So maybe we'll check in once we get to that 18 minute mark and see how the Bolt EV has done by comparison. temperature is up to nice 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit in a good place but it's gonna get worse before it gets better the 18 minutes has got us up to 25% so we're at maybe a little bit less we were at when we hit um, 18 minutes but so you can get around a quarter of the battery pack back in the Bolt TV uh, in the lower half of the pack at least uh, over that uh, 18 minute charge and the reason we're talking about 18 minutes is uh, because the quoted time from 10 to 80 percent uh, in an EV6 or a Hyundai Ionic 5 will be that 18 minutes. They have in the early test sessions that we've seen from Korea and possibly Europe as well at this point uh, it does seem to be holding to that so that kind of 15 to 20 minute stop that we often talk about being a you know common rest break just enough time to get out plug in do your business, get a snack and come back, uh, and the car will be ready to go. 80% again being the point where you sort of want to leave. If you're getting a quarter of the Bolt EVs pack back um, and more than two thirds of the uh, Ionic 5 or EV6, you can kind of see that that's getting into the, um, the Tesla supercharger territory. Okay, so that's hit 50%, which is 33 kilowatt hours in this vehicle and 30 kilowatt hours in a 2017 to 2019 Bolt EV. So Electrify America's pricing in per kilowatt hour states is 31 cents per kilowatt hour, which times by 30 is $9.30. And then times by 33 is $10.23. And we're only at, right now, $4.80 for the 33 kilowatt hours. So again, you can see, you know, certainly in this first half of the pack, but also as we'll see most likely in the second half of the pack, uh, it's still cheaper in a per minute state. So even all the way up to that 100% based on what I've seen from other people, unless we get some severe throttling due to heat, which the temperature is up to 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit in the uh, battery pack now paying about half the price for what you would pay in a per kilowatt hour state so it's a kind of interesting dichotomy because although the per kilowatt hour is more equitable and that's the way people seem to want to go uh, at the moment you're much much cheaper at least half the price in a lot of cases to charge uh, a Bolt TV and anything else that is under that kind of 90 kilowatt um, power tier um, separator uh, in a per minute state than in a per kilowatt hour state.
So just past two thirds of the pack here. Down at 34 kilowatts now. So we're definitely starting to feel that taper. So you can see this is around that time when you start to see all of the drawbacks of slower charging and uh, hitting 70% you'll want to start to think about leaving. If you need more range, obviously highway speeds, we might only have around 140, 150 miles here, which would be maybe cutting it close for some people in some locations. But we're past, uh, we're at 46 kilowatt hours delivered, so that's um, a good chunk of the pack there. And there we are, closing in on the 80% mark definitely over an hour here so if you roll in very low you're gonna be waiting for a good lunch break at least if you uh, want to get to 80% we do have 200 miles on the GOM albeit with that uh, based on the slightly higher than EPA and closer to local driving conditions efficiency of 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour as we hit 80% we're charging at 25 kilowatts Battery temperature is actually going down now, so it seems to be either doing some cooling or it's just uh, the lower power isn't uh, juicing things up quite as hot. So that's 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit now. And this is the screen, obviously. Battery will fully charge, it's just finalizing. You'll get your uh, alert from Electrify America, which I can show in a sec. Okay, so hitting that, having hit that 80% mark, we are gonna see this drag on now. But we're at 23 kilowatts now. That's going to continue to draw down over the last uh, 18, 17, 18 percent of the battery here. Just turned over to 83 percent. I'm going to go and grab some lunch, but we'll see how long that takes. Now, in this, uh, you know, having lingered for over an hour, 71 minutes, where we hit the 80 percent, see how much longer it takes and how much it costs to uh, get to that final 100% and why we don't really want to do that unless we absolutely need that juice. We're up to 93% now, so that 10% whilst I grab lunch and drinks and everything else. Uh, going down from 25 to 20 kilowatts, so it's actually not that bad. You know, once you're into the 90% range, you certainly don't expect very much. And uh, the 20 kilowatt rate there is solid enough but uh, this is why, you know, we don't want to be hanging around this too long um, after 80%, if possible, because you're really down to almost a third of the power now that you'll get at its peak. So we're really going to be hanging around. Luckily, we do have food and, uh, you know, this is all for the data. So I hope anyone who's watching takes away from this that you don't really want to stay much beyond that 70 to 80% range. delivered so that is the full pack seems to be telling me it's 99% but we'll see $13.87 82 cents of which is tax $13.05 charging fee one hour and 49 minutes this is 1% but who knows there we go There's your session overview, 66 kilowatt hours delivered, actually says minus 1% state of charge there, so who knows what's going on with that. Let's see, so we're good, it's not going to squeeze any more juice in there, that is as 100% as 100% can get, 
and uh, we'll crunch the numbers and do some takeaways. Thank you.